Hello viewers, welcome to this video. Right, in the previous video we saw how to create your first virtual machine and in this video we will be using the same virtual machine. Uh, but now let's see how we can um, snapshot your virtual machine, All right? So when I say snapshot for backup, when I say snapshotting a virtual machine, we are not uh, backing up the virtual machine itself. We are just backing up uh, the underlying disk, right? So it's just the disk that holds the data and that disk can be attached to any uh, machine. So basically, so that's how we actually snapshot, okay? So VM instances, so we have this one VM that's running from our previous video. And if you look at the snapshots, we don't have any snapshots. Disk, we have that one disk attached. So we are going to create a snapshot of this uh, disk and then uh, we will retain that snapshot. We will use that snapshot to create further instances and so on, all right? So for that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a small change uh, so that you know that uh, we are snapshotting uh, correctly, okay? So if I go to G Cloud Compute Instances List, so we've got this instance one. Let's log into that instance. G Cloud Compute SSH instance one. So once in there, I'm going to install sudo apt install tree, for example, or which tree. There's no tree command or which s trace. There's no s trace sudo apt install yes trace tree okay so which tree which yes trace it's all there that's fine okay so we've installed it and now if i go back to the console so we've made some changes and we've got this disk here and if you want to snapshot a disk it's always a good practice to uh, stop your vm so that there's no uh change is happening in your disk while the snapshot is being taken okay so for that i'm going to select that machine stop that okay so refresh the machine is being stopped yep it's being stopped at the moment so once it's stopped we can start uh, the snapshot process it's also possible to uh, do your snapshot create snapshot when the machine is running but it uh, it's always the best practice to stop your instance when you're uh, snapshotting your disk. Okay, so the machine is now stopped and you can see that the external IP is gone. And whenever you stop and restart your machine, your external IP will be uh, different unless you've attached a static external IP to your machine. Okay, so go to your disk and that's the disk and I'm gonna select that disk, create a snapshot, so give it a name. So I'm gonna say instance one disk snapshot, snapshot of instance one disk. So source disk, so we've got just one disk. So let's select that. And the, the snapshot will be stored in your cloud storage. So you want to select the storage class whether you want to store it in a multi-regional storage class or just a regional storage class, uh, the cost will differ based on the storage class you choose. So I'm gonna choose regional and I'm going to choose the same region where my source disk is. So although you can choose wherever you want, which uh, it doesn't have to be on the same region. So your disk is in London region, but you can store your snapshot in a different region. But as you can see here, there may be a network transfer fee if you choose to store the snapshot in a location other than the source disk. There might be some cost associated with uh, the network transfer and so on. Okay, add a label. Let's create a label created by Venkat. All right, create. It will take about a couple minutes to create this uh, snapshot. So once that snapshot is created, uh, what we can do is we can create another instance based on this uh, snapshot. And we should be able to see those two packages, tree and yes trace in that newly created instance because that's based on the, uh, the snapshot that we created from the existing virtual machine, all right? All right, so the snapshot has been created now. I can choose the snapshot, create another snapshot from the snapshot. 
I don't know why I would want to do that. Okay, so from this snapshot, you can create an instant create a new instance based on this snapshot when you are in the snapshot um, page or you can go to VM instance. Let's create a new instance and I'm going to say create instance and let's leave that as instance two. Um, if you want, you can add label and I'm going to choose the region as London and zone west 2A. I'm going to choose F1 micro and for the boot disk, I'm going to choose snapshots so so that's the snapshot that we just created select the snapshot select and i'm going to leave everything else uh, the same and if you look at the details it's again five dollar a month okay so create so once the instance is created we will log into that instance and verify that the two packages that we created that we installed on the previous instance should still appear in this instance because both are based on the same disk image right Okay, so the instance two is now created and now let's go to G cloud compute instances list. So we should see two instances. That one is terminated instance one. I don't know why it's showing terminated. I just stopped the instances. I didn't terminate it. Okay, that's something that I need to check. And instance two is the other one that's in the running state. Let's try and SSH to that instance g cloud compute ssh instance 2 it's going to copy the ssh keys to my instance 2 so now we are in instance 2 cat atc os release i just want to make sure that it's the same image yes it's debian version 9 which tree yeah we do have tree which is trace Okay, so now we can confirm it's based on the same disk image. So that's how you uh, create a new snapshot or a new instance from a snapshot that's based on a disk image of uh, another instance. Okay, so that's all I wanted to show you in this video. Give this a try. It's very simple and um, I will see you all in my next video. Bye-bye.